Former Illini and Proviso East standout player D. Brown is in his second year as head coach at Roosevelt University after five years as an assistant at UIC. He was just named the Chicago Land Collegiate Athletic Conference's Coach of the Year, leading the Lakers to one of their best seasons ever. This coaching thing seems to fit D. Brown pretty nicely. How much are you enjoying this? Loving it. You know, I, I tell people winning is not normal. Winning is fun, but I, I hate losing more. Luckily for D, his Roosevelt Lakers haven't done a lot of losing in his second year at the helm. They went 24-3 in the regular season and secured the school's second ever trip to the NAIA National Tournament by winning their first ever conference title. It meant a lot. Um, really wish we'd have did it last year for those, for those guys, but for us to come back in year two and, and, and win it, it was really special, and uh, that, that was our goal. Our goal was to come in and try to win it, you know, at least compete for a championship. So for us to win it, first time in school history is a blessing. When we won the conference championship, it meant a lot to us. Honestly, all, I was just thinking about all the 6 a.m. you know practices, all the sprints we ran, you know, all the you know times that we were going through adversity, and it just all just came came right to me, and all the emotions was. You know, a little bit too much overwhelming. It was one of the best feelings I ever had in my life. Getting the program to a championship level in just two years obviously hasn't been easy, but D. Brown has the guys buying in and putting in the work. He is definitely uh, not the easiest guy to play for in terms of like practice is going to be tough, yeah. games are going to be tough. He's going to be tough on you as a player, but it's only because he wants the best out of you at the end of the day. So I've kind of loved that aspect coming here. and. He's definitely pushed me to, to my limits to be the best player I can be. It's tough being a student athlete. I commend those guys. Uh, you got to have a different type of grit yeah. and toughness. But uh, being here in Chicago is tough as well. So many things to do. But we wanted to win the championship. And you have to sacrifice a lot to do that. But also, we want to make it to Kansas City. We want to go down to the Sweet 16 and keep repping uh, Roosevelt University in this great community. It helps to have guys like Cody Mitchell, who transferred as a grad student from Illinois Wesleyan, where he helped the Titans make it all the way to the D3 Elite Eight in 2022. That's kind of a big reason D brought me here, was to kind of bring a winning attitude, winning culture. I, I've seen what it takes. So that's kind of what I've been trying to tell these dudes, is keep your, you got to keep a level head at this time of the year. You can't get too high, can't get too low. When March comes around, you just got to play your best basketball, be firing on all cylinders. Brown feels his team has grown to the point where they can make a tournament run, and he feels like he's grown as well, learning to be a better head coach. It takes patience. Yeah. You know, you got to believe um, when you bring in your personnel, you bring in these student athletes, you got to believe in them. You got to coach them up, but you got to believe in them. And um, each day you learn something new. I'm a lifelong learner and I want to continue to learn what, how can I become a better uh, coach, a better mentor. It's been a blessing. I'm, I'm very grateful, man. I'm having a great time. And the Lakers got a four seed in the 64 team NAIA tournament. They begin play Thursday in Livonia, Michigan against 13 seed Shawnee State out of Ohio.